What's up YouTube? So on one of the other videos that I did taking a look at the 48 volt APC UPS system for a inverter, Elliot had a pretty good comment. He said find the XL version because they are designed for longer runtime and they have an external battery hookup on the back. So I'm going to take a look at this one and compare it to the other one. Ooh, this one is heavy. I'll just leave that one there. This one is the XL version and I'll go grab the other unit which I took apart the other day. Alright, so right off the bat you can see this one is a lot thicker than this guy. So I kind of want to open it up to take a look at the inside and see if there's anything different. Alright, for the smaller one here, I already have one inside the power rack now, and its model number is SUA3000RM2U. And for the bigger guy here, his model number is SUA3000RMXL3U. And you can already see it's quite different on the back side. This one has a external battery hookup, so that might be a good thing. And you can see here, this one has one more set of the 120 volt outlets. All right, I'll pull out all the screws and let's take a look. There's actually a lot different in here. I'll bring the camera closer so you can see what I'm looking at. All right, so here's the bigger one. This is right behind the 120 volt outlets. All right, so I'll pan over to the thinner one and I'll take a look at that one. Okay, so this is right behind the 120 volt outlets. All right, so comparing these two side by side, you can obviously see a huge difference in the way these two are built. The one here on the left, you can see it only has two capacitors, but look how big those are. Those are at least another inch taller. And these transformers right over here, this one is four inches by four and a half, and they are roughly three inches thick. These ones right over here are roughly four and a half inches wide by four and a half, four and a quarter inches thick. These ones are huge compared to those over there. Okay, so another, okay, so another difference that I just noticed is this one's only got four transistors per aluminum heatsink, and the one on the right has six transistors per aluminum plate. So this one over here can obviously handle a lot more, even though they both say 2700 watts output. It has more fans for airflow. This one's only got the two 80 millimeter fans. This one has a 120 millimeter fan, 80 millimeter fan, battery compartment fan. Also with the bigger one, it has the external battery hookups. So I could technically add a second bank to this one really, really easy by just plugging another Anderson connector right in the back. So that is a plus with this one. The only other thing that I'm thinking, which is a little bit different about these, is this one is probably just a newer version and it might be slightly more efficient versus the older one, less efficient. I don't actually know that 100%, but that's what I'm guessing. I might pull this one that I have out of the server rack and put in this beast. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Should I keep the one that's already in there, this one, or should I upgrade to the bigger bad boy? One of the other things I did notice about this one, and this is from Neural Nars videos, when he did the series connection between the two to get 240 volts, this one over here does have the chip 
down below underneath the network card where he was able to take pin 2 to 5 volts which makes the UPS go into sync mode so it'll always sync to whatever it is hooked up to. This one over here I have not seen the chip underneath. It very well could be down there. There's just some other items in the way here that I can't see. What I think I'm going to do is close this one back up and maybe pull out some more items just to see what's underneath it to see if that chip is there for possible hacking later on. And I found the covers which would make a make it have a good look. All right, so we got those off. I did notice that these battery cables here do have a big iron ferrite core on them and that is to help with the EMF, electromagnetic interference, I believe. I do not, however, see one on the other one. So if I do end up using this as a inverter, I do kind of like this idea of hooking more batteries up in the back. I don't see the chip that would allow me to mod this into the series connection, but it's probably just a different chip that I don't know what it looks like or what it says. I bet if I look up some of these part numbers, I could probably find it, but I'm not too worried about that right now. So, yep, I didn't see what I was looking for, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I'm going to go ahead and put the fan back in and the network uh, plastic box thingy. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is pull out the battery tray. Holy these are heavy. Got something in there. Yay, more wires and fuses. Sweet. I got some 60 amp fuses. These are the blade fuses. That's kind of cool. I don't really need the Anderson connector that's here now, so I might pull him out. Alright, so what I was thinking is if I do end up using this bigger one for my inverter, I would like to put on the front because it looks a hell of a lot nicer than just bare open metal. If I do that, I won't be able to use this Anderson connector here. I can hook up the battery bank in the very, very back so I won't have to do any weird modification up here in the front. So that is awesome. All I'll have to do is probably probably make another plug but that's not a problem I can do that with with this right here and maybe put the fuses on the back because I do want to use the fuses so that should be pretty easy okay that's uh, that's all I know all right so what we found different about this one versus the one that I already installed in my power rack is this one weighs a ton the transformers that are up towards the front are huge. The XL model has three bigger capacitors and it has six trans... transducers? Transformers? Transistors. That's it, transistors. Per aluminum heatsink versus the four. And of course this one has a 120 millimeter fan along with two 80 millimeter fans. And it has a Anderson plug in the back to hook up an external battery basically for longer runtime. So this one is actually designed for longer runtime. One thing that this one might be a little bit different is it's a little bit older I think than the other two that I have. So therefore this one might not be as efficient, but I'm not too worried about that because I do plan to keep getting uh, more laptop batteries to continue building more packs so I can have a big ass battery bank. I don't really have a goal for the battery bank. I'll just continue to collect cells and make packs when I can. So if you guys think I should upgrade to this XL model, leave a comment down below, or if there's any other modifications that you think I should make. Oh, and Elliot, thanks for letting me know that these are, that's what they're for, is the longer runtime because I don't know. I usually make all this shit up on the fly as I go. So yeah. Okay, I also wanted to let everybody know that 
I do not really ever plan to use the 120 volt from the wall. I don't ever plan on plugging this into the mains unless I absolutely have to. And that would be a condition of no sun for like a month straight or I don't really know what the condition would be, but it would be very rare, if not any at all. It's more or less just a backup. Another thing that I might be doing is if I do end up using this model, which I kind of think I'm already going to. So all of these outlets right here, I'm probably at the beginning I'll use because I'll have a poor man's transfer switch. The poor man would be me transferring plug to plug, but I, I do plan on maybe making this where I can have one of the big wires come out so I can run this directly to any sort of fuse or circuit breaker before it runs into my house so I can power things. So that'll be a little mod that I do probably sometime, just not right away. So yep. My power rack or my version of the power wall is going to probably be a little bit different than everybody else's. Mine is probably going to be more along the lines of the poor man's power wall just because I don't have a lot of extra money to buy fancy circuit breakers or what have you. I mean I will eventually just at the beginning it's going to be more of a poor man's power wall and I think it will be just fine and I will add more safety devices as I go. Okay I'm not really looking forward to lifting this up that's all I know for now. All right we'll see you on the next one. I thought I was recording after redo that part. Lay it back down. Holy shit. Oh, it sucks when you forget to hit the record button. Okay, so on the last, so it just, ha so it server a other, um, pretty much. All right, so right off the, much power whack. And these, these one, um, thickness of, Jesus. Each set of um, aluminum, this one has four aluminum, to and so and so um to i don't know i can't remember for possible at the electrical interference well there wasn't a m and but and the and and so i can so i can get um blah 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 i'll just keep um and i uh, um oh and what should i next